In this video, I'm going to show you free Guitar Amp plugins for Reaper. So in this video, we're going to focus on some free Guitar VST plugins that work with Reaper for both PC and Mac. Some of these are completely free, and others are just limited versions of paid products, but are still essentially free. And the reason I use so many is that I find that if you use a bunch of free ones, you can usually find a specific sound in each that will cover all the sounds you may need. Now, this isn't a complete list of every free plugin available. I just chose a few that I use in my productions. But if you have a favorite that I left out, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'm also going to leave all the links to these plugins down in the description of this video. We'll start by creating a new track, double click. We'll name it Guitar. We'll put it into Record and set the input where my guitar is plugged into. For me, it's Input Mono and my second input, which is where my guitar is plugged into on my computer audio interface. Choose this. Now I should hear my guitar. And we do. But as you can tell, it doesn't sound very interesting because we're just hearing the direct sound of the guitar. We need a plugin that makes it sound like an amp with an emulated cabinet to go with it. So let's go to the plugins on this track and we'll search amp. And let's choose the plugin down here called Convolution Amp Cab Modeler. Double click it and it looks like this. We'll switch the channel mode to be stereo. And then we could choose different models to hear. Excuse my guitar playing as I'm not really a guitar player, but I want to go through these just to get an idea of how they sound. This is a Tweed Deluxe. You use a Fender Bassman. Or a Marshall. These tend to sound a bit bassy, so I tend to put a high pass EQ before it. But let's focus on the third party plugins. The first one I want to show you is Guitar Rig 6. Again, this is a paid product, but it's a free version, which is a bit limited, we could use instead. And when it opens up, it looks like this. We'll go to our input sources and choose Guitar. Now we have presets down here to choose from. There's not a lot. But they tend to sound pretty good. Let's hear this one by double clicking it. We can see the modules show up over here. We could adjust our preamp to be lower or higher. Let's try this cheesy. 80s metal lead. Which sounds a bit cheesy. Let's try this clean break. And notice all the modules that come with it that we could adjust. We have delays, choruses, and of course our amp. Doesn't really sound like it. Let's try the double screamer. Or double trouble. Or this funky Ottawa. Next, we're going to check out Amplitude 5, which looks like this and it sounds like this.
tends to sound like a pretty good Marshall. Now, the presets that come with it include all the presets we didn't pay for. But if we go to this folder right here, Amplitude 5 CS, we can use anything in here, like this rotary effect. <laughs> Or this Buckley sound. Or this double crunch. Or this summer of sixty nine. Or this edge delay. So the next plugin I want to check out is from Blue Cat Audio, which is the free amp right here. Let's check out the presets. Right over here, we have the classic clean, which is based on a Fender amp. Or Jazzy. Or the classic drive, which is more like a Marshall. Or the modern drive, which is more like a dual rectifier. The next plugin I want to check out is from a company called Amped with the Roots Free plugin, which looks like this and sounds like this. As you can tell, it's pretty distorted, and it comes with a bunch of amps, but only this one, 5034 Fluff, is free. But we still get a tuner, a pedal board, cabinets to choose from, and even MIDI control. And we can still adjust how much input and gain we get, so it still sounds good at lower distortion. Try a bit less. And the last one I want to show you is by a company called Kawasa. I hope that's pronounced correctly. This is Amplification Light. They make a whole bunch of plugins, but this one is free. And we could choose clean, normal, and lead, adjust the input for how much distortion we're going to get. Adjust the gain. But my favorite sound is switching this to rhythm for a more British sound. Or bring up the gain. And then finally, it has a lead sound, which is a lot more distorted. But I think I prefer this sound 
as it's breaking up with a more British vibe. So as you can tell, each one of these free guitar VST plugins have their own strengths and weaknesses based on the kind of tone we're looking for. So by choosing many of them to put in our toolbox, we'll always be able to find the right sound we need. And again, if you have a free guitar VST plugin that you prefer, please let me know down in the comments below. So that's pretty much it. That's free guitar amp plugins in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.